Did you watch the Tampa Bay game last night? Yeah, I watched um, a little bit of it um, and then checked the final score. But, you know, two teams coming off losses, um, both going to be hungry for a win. So, uh, you know, hopefully have a good start and uh, carry, out, carry it on through the game. You learn, when you watch a game, I mean, I'm just, I was watching just to watch, but when you watch a game, do you watch to see things, learn things that you can use tonight? Um. I think a little bit. I mean, I think a lot of the time you're just watching this, you know, because you enjoy watching hockey. And I think, um, you know, our coaching staff and our video staff usually, um, we go through it prior to the game and we usually get, uh, you know, tendencies there. But yeah, I definitely watch and you might pick something up along the way as well. You know, Andre Vasilevsky for them tonight, just having an opportunity is that for you guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's. Um, you know, he's been one of the best goalies in the league the past few years, and, um, you know, he's a tough guy to beat, and he's a big part of their team. But, you know, obviously uh, they have guys that can step up and fill that hole as best they can, and, um, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge tonight. So I wanted to ask you a little about the role that you're playing this year. Um, you know, you're playing with Andre Vasilevsky, you're playing with Difficult is it to do with people to kind of just be there and be ready, not really know when you're going to go in, but you kind of have to be full speed ahead if you get the call. Like, how difficult is that, and how satisfying is it? Yeah, it's um, you know I think the luxury here is that we're a really good hockey team, and there's a lot of good players in the team, and um, you know for me I've been through it, so it's uh, you know it's just a day by day process, and I think. Um, just having the mindset that, you know, like I said, take it one day at a time. You never know when your number is going to be called. And I think um, just staying in shape and staying ready is uh, is all I can do and just try to put my best foot forward when uh, when my number is called. Coach has been pretty adamant about how consistent you are, though, and that you're you know, always ready for the call. What does that mean to you to have the coach's trust like that? Yeah, it's, um, it's always nice to hear for sure. Um, I think you know, that may come with, you know, experience and the more times you get put in that position. And, you know, I think every day is a privilege to be in this league. So you just, um, like I said, take it day by day. And, you know, when your number is called, you just make sure you're ready. You obviously weren't with the Rangers for all of 2021, but being there in 2020 and being here now, what have you seen, how have you seen the team grow just Management changes, coaching changes, roster turnover. Yeah, there's yeah, like you said, there's been um, a lot of a lot of new faces around for sure. And you know, when I was first here, it was you know it was for sure a lot of younger guys. And I think you can see now they're finding their footing here in the league and getting more comfortable. And I mean, I think it's been a challenging year for for every team in regards to COVID and things like that. It just hasn't been hasn't been normal, but. At the same time, you can see that you know the team and the organization has definitely um, you know taken some some big positive steps for sure. When, when getting back to, to the role that you play, do you feel like for a guy like you, and this is the role that, that you evolved into, is it better to be sort of like a specialist in one area, like let's say uh, you know, you're great at penalty and, uh, and faceoffs, or you're great at penalty count, or it's better to sort of be like good at a bunch of different or Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely a lot of it is I think it's good to be versatile. So, I mean, it's I think it always helps when you can, um, you know, kind of be put in different situations because you never know who's going to be in or out of the lineup. So being versatile is huge. And I think, I mean, it definitely never hurts to, to to be skilled in face-offs or PKing and special things like that, if if called upon. When you when you, what made you come back? Um, I loved it here. Loved the guys. Loved the staff, the city. Uh, everything about it was was great. I enjoyed my time here, and it's. Uh, I think any chance uh, you get to to play in New York and play for the Rangers, it's uh, it's tough to pass up. What do you think has been the biggest difference? Um, it's tough to say. I mean, uh, you know, Quinny, it was, you know, Quinny's first head job and, 
you know, I know there's a lot of different things. You know, a lot of young guys come in. The team is, uh, you know, it was rebuilding at the time, say. But, um, you know, now I think we're a more experienced team and, um, you know, like a lot of older guys and things like that. So uh, I think it's just two, uh, two different scenarios. And, um, you know, the team just seems like it's evolved more now.